the Lord Jesus Christ is holy, he's healthy, he's almighty, he's a king of authority, he's full of power, he's all seeing God, he's all pure God, he's all compassionate God, he's a gentle God, he's a harmless God. He's all loving, he's all approachable, he's all giving, he's all protecting, he's all firmness, and he's all joyful, he's satisfied, his words are sweet, respectful, comforting words comes out of him. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for this opportunity He has given uh, to me to preach the Word of God. I also thank God for our pastor who has, uh, the Lord has given us, who is preaching the Word of God and growing our faith in the Word of God. And I thank pastor for this opportunity uh, He has given me in His church. So today, uh, let's turn to Psalms chapter 23, verse 6. And the Bible says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My topic for the sermon is, Why should we go to church? I have uh, another word, a verse for the intro part which is Psalms chapter 27 verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that I will seek after Him, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. So do you know why do we come to church? Why? Yes. So, uh, we'll see many uh, points uh, from the Bible. Let's turn our Bibles to my Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. The first reason why we come to church. And the Bible says, where two or more are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Bible says here, uh, when we gather together, the Lord's presence is in this place. First and foremost, we come to church to meet the Lord, to be in His presence. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, But He answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, by but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. We have uh, food three times a day, right? Some people have two times, but uh, most of them have three times. And that will fill our flesh. But we have to come to church, or we have to come to Bible studies to get more of the word of God so that we can feed ourselves spiritually. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So when we hear the word of God, we increase our faith. Not by sitting at home, not by sleeping, but hearing the word of God, which is very important in the current day and age. We uh, watch YouTube every day. We have worldly things in our mind. So to flush out all the dirtiness we have collected, we have to be hearing the word of God. The next point is for thanksgiving and the Bible says in Psalms chapter 100 verse 4, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. The main reason is uh, hearing the word of God, but we have to come also to thank the Lord 
for what he has done in our life. We have to come to praise him, to worship him, and to bless his name. Psalm chapter 95 verse 6, the Bible says, Oh, come, not sit at home, not uh, watch YouTube summons as you wish. The Bible says, Oh, come. But uh, my brother is coming from Dubai. No, no, no. Bible says, Oh, come. But my relative is coming. Durka Ristaja Arai. No, no, no. Bible says, Oh, come. But uh, see, uh, my mother in law is coming. No, 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 no. The Bible says, Oh, come. No, no, no. She'll feel bad. But, but, but the Bible says, Oh, come. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the make, Lord our Maker. Psalm chapter, uh, Isaiah chapter 38 verse 20, the Bible says, The Lord was ready to save us. Even when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. So because of that, the Bible says, there, The Lord was ready to save us. Therefore, we will sing my songs to the string instruments all the days of my life in the house of the Lord. Not singing at home, but in the house of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 to 25, the Bible says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assemblings of ourselves together. The Bible commands us here in Hebrews chapter 20, uh, 10 verse 25, saying that we have to gather together, forsaking, uh, forsaking not the assembling of the same. And uh, further the Bible says, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. You can't exhort one another when you sit at home. You can exhort your uh, family members to sleep more, but not to grow in the word of God. But exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day is approaching. We see all the end time prophecies are coming to be fulfilled, right? We see uh, all the signs that are mentioned in the Bible and the end days are coming soon. So we have to get re ready for rapture. The only reason why rapture is not coming because Christians are sitting sushigat. So we have to get ready for the rapture. We have to be uh, ready, we have to be glad to come in the house of the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 30, uh, 40 verse 31, the Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. How many of you want to grow with a stick? No, right? Everyone wants to grow healthier with strength. Even uh, when my grandmother was old, she uh, didn't uh, use the lift. She used to climb. She used to say, no, no, I'm not old. I'm young. We have to be young. So that's why the Bible says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk. But and not faint. First Timothy 4.12 Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. If you want to uh, your children to be going to church every Sunday, then you have to be the example. You have to lead them to, uh, to the preaching to the Sunday service because if you sit at home, the children will say, say, okay, Sunday is the time of resting. 
but if you grow them or you want to uh, make others to come to church you have to be an example and i have to be an example first in acts chapter 1 uh, 2 verse 1 and 4 the bible says and the day of pentecost was fully come they all were in one accord when we come to church we have to have one accord one mind not uh, thinking about okay there wo- there is a uh, there is a match at 12 o'clock i want to watch it so i'll uh, like i'm re- thinking when the service is finishing oh pastor is preaching one and a half hour today i can't uh, watch this match no no the bible says come with one accord and that one accord should be that we will magnify the lord jesus christ we will grow, glorify his name and we will hear his word the bible says and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord and in one place we have to gather in one place just that uh, i want to magnify the lord i can sit home and watch no 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 the bible says in one place and in verse 4 the bible says and they were all filled with the holy ghost how many of you want to be filled with the holy ghost yes most of you some hands i can't see <coughs> but but most of you want uh, the lord jesus christ to work in your hearts you want the holy ghost to lead you but that can only happen when you come to the church you hear his word only then christ will work in your life the bible says in galatians 6 verse 9 and let us not be weary in well doing for the season shall season we shall reap if we faint not are you tired of coming to church are you thinking oh this is every day every sunday i have to go okay this sunday i can skip the bible says let us not be weary the next season we come to church is to praise the lord in psalms 150 verse 6 the bible says let everything that hath breath praise the lord praise yield the lord you have breath or you uh, you are just dead spiritually not physically if you have you have breath spiritually then you have to come to church i am talking if you are a christian in leviticus 20 verse 7 the bible says sanctify yourself therefore and be ye holy for i am your lord now uh, the bible says be ye holy so I, how can be i be holy let's turn to ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 and the bible says that ye might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word the word of god cleanses you and makes you holy that's why you hear the word of god second timothy chapter 4 verse 2 to 3 the bible says preach the word be instant in season out of season we hear the word of god for these reasons reprove rebuke exhort with long suffering and doctrine the bible specifies in second timothy verse 4 uh, chapter 4 verse 2 and in uh, 3 it says for the time will come when they will hear they will not endure sound doctrines but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears today most of the uh, uh, christians stay at home and hear whatever youtube videos are okay i am hearing the word of god but they hear what they want to hear 
Okay, uh, I'll search what uh, topic has to be searched for the for tomorrow. They prepare on Saturday that, okay, I want to hear this message, so I'll hear it tomorrow. So not according to our conveniences we have to hear, but we have to be in the house of the Lord, so that the Lord Jesus Christ in his presence will talk to us, as we have seen in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. And the last point is in Psalms chapter 122, verse 1, and, and Psalms 100, verse 2. The Bible says, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And in uh, Psalms verse 100, verse uh, 2, the Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Today, are you, uh, have you come glad with gladness? I'll just give you one example. When I and pastor are together, and we go at pastor's home. The boys come running. They are very glad to see uh, his, uh, their father. That is because they have gladness. They seek him. As soon as, he, uh, as the sound of the vehicle comes, they run and come. Oh, dad is come, dad is come. Because they are glad. Are we glad today to come to the house of the Lord? If you are glad, we won't say, okay, the service is 9 o'clock, so I'll just reach on time, 2 minutes early. If I am glad, I will reach at least 15 minutes early to church. So that we have uh, plenty of seats, we know where to sit. Otherwise, I and Vicky has to manage some chairs behind. Oh, then uh, it looks on the camera, it comes on the camera, so it looks like distraction, right? The Bible says God is not a God of confusion. He is of order. Amen. So that's why we have to come early and be prepared in the house of the Lord. And that can only happen if we are glad to serve Him. As the Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Today, this morning, I want to ask you, are you saved? If you are saved, then you have to come in the house of the Lord. If you are not saved, then you have to get saved. If you are not sure of your salvation, where you will go, whether I will spend my eternity in heaven or hell, oh, I am not sure, oh, there might be some place other than... No, 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 the Bible says there is only heaven and hell. And if you are not sure, you will go to hell. But there is a good news. The Lord Jesus Christ is your friend. Today is Friendship Day, right? He is your best friend. He gave you option. He doesn't want you to go to hell. He wants to, you to get saved. But for that, you need, that, uh, you need to know that you are a sinner and you are on the way of eternal damnation. And the Lord Jesus Christ is God, and He came for your and my sin in this world. And He shed His precious blood and died, and rose again after the third day. Amen. If you believe on this truth, the Lord Jesus Christ is ready to save you. Amen. We see in the Bible, right, uh, in uh, Isaiah, where is the verse? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But the, uh, uh, the 38, verse 20, the Lord was ready to save me. He is ready to save you. Amen?